Hello, this is Chris from the Character Editor. Some of you have asked how to integrate the Advanced Locomotion System with our Character Editor, and I have written a text tutorial for this, but now I will show you how to do this via video. I have already prepared a project with the Advanced Locomotion System integrated and the Character Editor. I also started the map just to load our data assets into the engine cache, just to speed thing, uh, things up a little bit. Well, now I'll show you real quick what the ALS is about and what we are going to integrate into our character exactly. As you may know, this is a dynamic animation system with more complex animations like rolling or climbing. And of course, the basic Unreal Engine implementation of the character that we use does not support these types of motion. Also the turning and various other things are possible with the ALS or Advanced Locomotion System. We take a look at the skeleton of the ALS mannequin and in the skeleton tree besides all the normal weight bones you can see these bluish tinted so-called virtual bones. They are responsible for different directions and for example holding the handgun and doing the advanced animations correctly that come with the advanced locomotion system. And we have to recreate them in our skeleton as well. So I head to the character editor and select the female skeleton. I drag it side by side so we can see the ALS mannequin virtual bones. And now we have to recreate them. As you can see, the first bone is the IK hand gun, which is attached to the hand L. These virtual bones are, are always connected to a first connection point as the Unreal documentation says and point to a target bone to give their, them their specific direction. And you can do this by right click on the first connection point, add virtual bone and search for the target bone. Click it and if you reselect it you can see the orange highlighted bone that points from the hand L to the hand R bone. And now go to the LS mannequin, double click the name and control C, copy it and control V, paste it. Uh, these names are really important for the advanced locomotion system as they are used in the Allen Blueprint. Furthermore, you can create now all the other bones like I'm doing. Um, the next first connection point is the IK handgun that we've just created at Virtual Bone and also pick the hand R that sits, uh, sits right here. Copy its name, paste it. And now for the other hand, it's slightly reversed. We, the first virtual bone does not point to the hand left, but the hand R right first. And from the right bone, it then points to the left bone. <coughs> Copy the names. So the next bones are for the foot, foot L and foot R, and you have to choose the IK bone. Click on IK foot L and search for IK foot L as well. Click again on IK foot L and search for calf. Copy 
each for the foot R and for the calf R. And this is the foot L offset, then you target L. And you foot R offset and the knee target R. Now comes the anchor foot root which points to the foot L and the foot, foot R. And the last bone is the curves, which is placed directly on the root with the root as the target bone. Save the skeleton and then you are almost done with it. Just head to the retarget manager. If it's not open here, you can find it under window retarget manager. And in the lower section, uh, double check if this uh, the humanoid is selected, hit the auto map button and see that all these bones are selected. Then save and now you're ready to retarget our skeleton to the ALS Venom blueprint. Search for the VP character, go to its class settings and change its parent class to ALS base character VP. Then go to its event graph and right click on the event begin play node and call the parent function and connect it in between begin play and initialize node of the character customization. Then select all our default controls in the aqua colored command and delete them because they would conflict with the advanced locomotion systems controls. Then go to character movement and search in the details panel for can crouch and turn it on to enable all the crouch animations as well. Then go to the level and delete the anime man VP that's in here and go to the world settings you can also find them by window world settings and as the default pawn class select our VP character press play and see our character now uses the animation it's from the advanced locomotion system and of course the in-game editor also works with all the skeletal meshes crouching works and what you will notice is that the climb animation and the roll animation do not simply work at the moment but we will fix it soon as well in the character editor our size picker also does not work properly because the animation blueprint of the ALS doesn't simply have all the transforms in that our content uses. So go to our, if you want to add the size support, then we go to our female animation blueprint and you can see the foot transform, the size transforms and the edge transforms. And I will show you this for the size transforms only at the moment. Copy all these nodes and then go to the new ALS Anim blueprint that we have just retargeted. So now search for these two pink comments and grab these nodes with the component local. 
move them slightly bit to the right and place in all the nodes that we've just copied. And now connect the two bone IK to the first transform mo modify bone node and the last modify bone node in here connect it to the component to local again. Now you will notice that the rivals are all grayed out. This means that they are not part of the blueprint just yet. And you can change it by right clicking it and create rival. Do this for each of them. And then you can find them in the My Blueprint tab, just down below. And if you like, you can reorder them to match the order of our female in the Blueprint. Then it's save and compile. And now you see the character is gone. Just don't panic because we need to give these value, uh, these variables default values. For this you go to the NM preview editor, you can find it in the window, NM preview editor, and go to its that edit defaults tab. You search for the size properties and fill in the following values scale And then compile again. Now you see the character is back there. Go to the event graph of the ALS and the blueprint and add to the class settings. And right in the interfaces area, select the NM, the character NM instance interface. Then you can choose the event oh, I have to recompile. Now you can choose the event set size and set the size for I will we've created in the NM graph. From the female character NM blueprint, go to its event graph and here you can see some other nodes. We have to copy these. These are getting the character customization component and update the base by the morph targets accordingly if the blueprint is initialized. So go to the NM graph and paste them in here. As you can see here are the same nodes as in our NM blueprint and connect them. Compile. Now you will see our size transform is correctly working. If you want to also add the roll animation and the um, climb animation, you have to do some 
other steps is though these are um, animations they did not get converted or retargeted with the animation blueprint itself for this you need to find the element and see it's my blueprint tab here is a metal system and a movement system and then here you can see the get mental asset any uh, function and the get role animation function and is the place where different role animations and different mental setups are delivered to the ALS base character blueprint and as our character now also inherits this <coughs> base character blueprint we can also override these functions so go to the bp character and go to the functions area and click on override get mental asset and get role animation you can see these are literally, literally empty you can remove the parent calls in both of them and now one difference of these functions is that the role animation directly returns a animation montage object and the get mental asset returns a full structure with some other properties of which height should be used for the climb and stuff like that and we have this switch this mental type we can switch on just copy this node and go to our bp character get mental asset paste the switch in and connect it and just control c and v we can copy the return node and connect them like so drag the return value from the first return node off and remote to variable and name it mental underscore to m default just like in the other uh, other blueprint many man and control w to duplicate it and name it 1m uh, now drag the 1m and plug it into the second return value now it's safe and compile <laughs> and you see the structure is still empty just go to the anim man and select the mental 2m default right click on this name of the structure copy and paste it in our bp character do the same for the one M. Now you may have noticed that the element touch is still using an LS variant, and this one is not retargeted with our anim blueprint from before. So here you can also right click the target anim asset just like we did before and select a female skeleton and select the appropriate output folder and retarget it. Now two assets, the animation monitor itself and a sequence that it's using get retargeted, just save them and in our character assign it to the 2m structure and repeat the same process for the 1m montage right click the target anim asset and choose the right folder choose the female skeleton and retarget it 
and then select the one um, and drag it into the element of the structure. When we are complete with this part, we can now climb with the character. And to do the role animation, we have to go to the role animation function of the BP character and drag off promote to variable and <coughs> name it land role default. Now we also have a montage in here that we can see in the animal blueprint. Click on the land roll and search in a content browser. Repeat the same process as for the mental animation by retargeting it. Choose the appropriate folder and retarget it. Now go back to the BP character and place it into the land roll default variable. Save and compile and play in game and double hit alt key to perform the roll animation. But with all the setup there are some general caveats because as you open the character editor with the C button and close the editor, you will notice that the turn animation does not work as, as expected because the advanced locomotion systems supports a cam perspective change, which you can see on the right side in the controls uh, to switch from third person to first person. And our character does not simply support it and normally the camera would stick in the head and support some fast movement with the legs. To bypass it, simply change the key of our character editor to some different or make your own logic how to open it or to use it with this setup right here, just open the character editor again and see the turn animation works properly. Uh, another caveat is the turn animation itself inside the character editor because with left and right mouse button dragging you can turn our character but the ALS tries to auto align the character all the time and to by bypass this you can change the rotation mode with the X key and move the camera around instead the character. At last I want to mention that our character currently doesn't support the camera transitions that the animan does. For example if you crouch or stand up the camera camera jumps up and down and um, does not perform smooth transitions. Also the rectal system of the animan does a pretty good job, but our character is not uh, fully adjusted to this and or optimized. And if you can, uh, if you stand up again, your character capsule can move around, but the character mesh is not following. That must be some trickery in the animation blueprint or in the character blueprint of the advanced locomotion, which I could not figure out yet. So we have to restart the game then. And what's also a problem that I could not figure out is if you open the character editor and have the advanced locomotion system integrated with our character editor, then switching the anatomy to a fully functional um, ALS rig and back to our back to another anatomy then some of the things are not working properly 
in this case the turn animation <coughs> does not turn at all <laughs> it just tries over and over again well i hope this tutorial helps you to integrate the character editor with the advanced locomotion system yourself and if some questions remain just drop us a line and have fun bye bye